What's up guys, welcome back to Polarx Garage. Uh, so a little bit of update on what happened. So, figured it out. So the culprit was in between the battery and the starter itself. And it was actually a power distribution block. I don't know why it was there, but it was in between the battery and the starter. One thing I noticed that um, when I asked my brother to crank, I would notice this thing spark. So, it could be due to a lot of uh, corrosion and battery acid. So, but yeah, the car the car cranks now, it runs. Um, I got a lot of parts that came in, so I'm going to install those. My brand new distributor came in, brand new spark plug wires came in, and uh, a couple other goodies. And um, yeah, I'm going to check it out. And I'll... Uh, show you what's going on with the car. So, like I said while I was waiting for parts to come in and um, trying to figure out what was causing my car I decided to work on the Koki front end so I uh, actually ordered this from uh, one of my friends in the guard or not order but bought the front end from him and it's got a OEM hood uh, fiberglass fenders which came from uh, JP fiberglass OEM headlights, brand new corner lights, brand new JDM OEM bumper. So I'm taking a little bit of a different route. Decided to go back to the Koki front end. And if you've been following my Instagram, you'll know notice that I was doing a lot of throwback for when the car was Koki. So doing this for my wife and um yeah, thought it was time to change it up. I'm not gonna lie, I order a lot from Rock Auto. And here I got my brand new distributor and brand new spark plug wires. I'm gonna slap those in and then um, maybe we'll touch the front end a little bit, try to get it all together. You know, it's cause it's still pieced up, I'm trying to figure out all my damage in the front and all that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead this time. Now. There you have it. New spark plug wires are on. NGK got it from Rock Auto. New distributors on. I don't know if you noticed during the time lapse video, I kind of took a little bit of a pause because the distributor rotor looks like a 9798 distributor rotor. Should work still. All the connectors are the same. All the plugs are there. So, um, just kind of freaked me out a little bit, but it's all right. As long as that works for me, it's on. And then we're going to go slap it on and do some other stuff. So one of the things I wanted to do was put in my new ISR hot pipe to replace this CX Racing hot pipe. Uh, mainly because the blow off valve right now actually touches the fan shroud. And I want it to be on the other side. But I need to get um, two uh, new couplers because it's a uh, completely different size and uh, I guess we'll install that uh, later on when I get the couplers. So I guess one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install this hood latch. So the hood latch on my car I originally had but I put on my wife's S14.5 at the time because we swap hoods and I don't have the hood latch anymore so I this on eBay and yeah, we'll put this on.
the mail. Shoot Focus Fab. You should check them out on IG. They also have a website. They do a lot of fab work. Um, I ordered recently ordered a rear bash bar from them. It's at my wife's house. That's um, waiting to get painted first. And then I also have a front bash bar coming in from them. So this, they just came out with this. It's the S14 coolant overflow tank. And right when they posted this on their IG store, I had to order one because I don't like the, the cram space of my original coolant tank. And um, kind of opened it already just to check it out. But um, yeah, let's do a little unboxing. So it came, yeah, I opened this too. Thank you, Andrew, for from True Focus Fab. You guys work is freaking sick as hell. Came with a little note, a little warning, sticker, a little warning, off-road use, yeah. Everything on Guam is for off-road use, so, uh, oh yeah, came with a sticker, a little thank you note. Came with some fruit snacks, I don't know why, but that's all cool. <laughs> so check it out. We've got some hoses. And oh my god, their work is really awesome. Damn, look at that. True focus fabrication. Oh yeah. So eventually when I because I got a new radiator and a new fan setup coming that's gonna get installed in that. I'm gonna install this with that. That this is actually gonna go I believe over here. Oh yeah, perfect. So it's gonna go over here, something like this. And it's gonna be out of the way of my air filter. Might need a, so yeah, my, my, my frame actually got tweaked. So I might need to like bang it out a little bit for it to fit properly. But should fit there. It's just that I got into, I got to a little fight with the guardrail at the track back in 2014 and that's what kind of crushed that area never got to changing the radiator support out but um yeah i'll make it fit and yeah true folks fab check out their products my second thought fuck it let's go put it on <laughs> 